Well guys, tonight I'm back out at the lease and um, the other night when I was going back to the truck, I shot at a really nice boar um, and I ended up nicking his front right leg, found a little bit of blood, it dried up. Went home, watched the footage several times, slow motion, realized he kind of turned right as I shot and uh, boy, it just barely nicked him. So I've given him a few days. He's really nice, I'd like to get him. And so I'm gonna go out to the field that I saw him in, kind of work slow, kind of be real quiet, see if I can't find him or one like him and uh, run an arrow through them. And speaking of arrows, I'm trying a new setup tonight. Uh, these are less expensive version of what I use for deer. Uh, but what I did is I put a brass insert that weighs 100 grains in them. Um, and I put a couple of wraps on them that are white so I can see blood better. Um, and I really want to try to penetrate through a, a pig's shoulder and get a complete pass through. That's my goal tonight. So I've got a, I've got an old slick trick here, 100 grain. Um, and then I also brought with me um, an old three blade Grim Reaper that I found in my stash. And so mechanicals are great. They have huge di uh, cutting diameter. But the problem with them is that they don't always penetrate on a pig. And so we may try one of them out if we get a good opportunity to. So who knows what tonight may hold. I'm going to go work it slow. Just see what I come up with.
when I shot him, I came back to get the camera and the light to see where he was going. But I should have stayed put and I'd have had a shot at this boar as well. Guys, I'm hoping that you can see this damage that these two pigs were doing. I mean, this is a guy's field that he grazes his cattle in. And these dudes right here are just plows. They plow it up. It, it gets so bad that tractors can't even get in here to do what they need to do. It's a bad deal. Got it done again tonight. I really like hunting like this. I like sneaking up on them. Um, it's a lot of fun. You, have, you just have to take your time. You have to be patient. You have to be quiet. And you have to kind of watch them. If they look up and notice you, you need to stop. Let them calm down. Stalk again. I, I, bumped, a I, I bumped a couple of boars coming in. And um, they knew I was there before I, I knew they were there. They were covered in mud and they were real dark. And it was just hard to see them, quite frankly. And as, he was, as I was dispatching him, there was a group of hogs over here to my left and the wind was just terrible. I tried to put a stalk in on them, but I'd have had to circle around probably, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile to get in a good position. I tried to make a stalk in on them. They kind of went out of the field. I don't know if they smelled me or just something didn't seem right or what, but um, I couldn't do this without my sniper hog lights. I highly recommend these things. Um, this is the bow mounted edition. I'd like to get the bigger one soon to mount to my camera. Um, it's a lot brighter and it shines a lot further. Um, this is the older version. It's the 30LR, uh, but it's, it's great for mounting to your bow and it's always aiming where you're aiming because the way they do this um, screw insert, you can turn it quarter turns, eight, th eight turns at a time, and it kind of moves the, around so that when you pull back, you're looking through your sight, you're, you're centered on the light. Uh, so check them out. They're a Texas-based company, and so you need to support them. And uh, other than that, it's another good kill. One less pig to get his nose in the ground. Uh, hopefully we ran off the others for a little while. Uh, I doubt it. Um, I'm going to be gone for a week next week, so I'm going to get Bradley in here on him, hopefully. Um, and he may kill one or two and, and run them off as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the hunt.